OpenAI's latest model is a lot more talkative. If you've been following the headlines around OpenAI, you've probably seen stories about how the company is working on a search product to compete with Google. It was even supposed to announce that product this week, which didn't happen. That means its search product is probably still in the works. What OpenAI just announced is arguably even more impressive. Its latest model, GPT-4.0. The O stands for Omni, which is a reference to all the different ways you can interact with it. The biggest change is the addition of voice. OpenAI's previous leading model had been trained on images and text. Now GPT-4.0 adds voice into that mix. Voice is not an entirely new addition to ChatGPT, but ChatGPT's previous voice capabilities were powered by speech-to-text, so the interaction wasn't really that different from typing a question and reading an answer. So with these new capabilities, ChatGPT is getting closer to becoming a real science fictional voice assistant one that you can actually talk to as if it were a human assistant. For one thing, you can now interrupt ChatGPT in the middle of an answer. It's also supposed to be able to detect the emotion in your voice and answer with emotion of its own, and it can even sing. GPT-40 also improves ChatGPT's vision capabilities. So you could share a photo or your desktop screen and ask it, what's going on with this software code? Or what kind of shirt is this guy wearing? OpenAI also released a bunch of videos showing what GPT-40 can do. Of course, a pre-planned demo isn't the same thing as testing a product in the wild, but those videos are pretty darn impressive. In one, you can see GPT-40 tutoring a student in math, offering guidance and feedback as they work through a math problem. In another, GPT laughs at and compliments the user's dad jokes, which is kind of sad, but hey, we've all wanted that kind of affirmation. One video hints at the accessibility implications of improved vision and voice, where GPT describes and answers questions about what it sees to a user who's vision impaired. Maybe the craziest are the videos where two phones with GPT-40 interact with each other, for example, with one GPT asking the other to describe what it's seeing, and then the two of them singing together. Unlike some other OpenAI announcements, where the company only provides limited access to the new technology, GPT-40 is available in the free tier of ChatGPT right now. Making these models available to everyone was a big theme in the presentation. So it's also announcing new ChatGPT UI on the web and the fact that features like remembering preferences are now available to free users. We'll see you tomorrow.